Hello, Kelly George here. Um, I don't know if you've been following my vlogs. This is what I call my MS journey, and I've been doing vlogs um, regarding my diagnosis, multiple sclerosis, um, over a year or so ago now, and the journey that I've had with my relapses, and then uh, most recently with my Lemtrada treatment. So I was granted Lemtrada. Um, I am originally from the UK, and I've done year one of Lemtrada, so now I'm going into year two. Uh, if the word Lemtrada means nothing to you, but you do suffer from multiple sclerosis and you don't really know what's going on, you could have had a, recently been diagnosed or somebody you know has multiple sclerosis and doesn't know how to deal with it, then I do suggest really heavily uh, looking up everything, Google everything you can, get the MS nurse involved and ask her what possible new treatments um, and groundbreaking research there's over multiple sclerosis at the moment and how that... Yes, it's a condition you live with, but there is a lot more choices these days than there was 10 years ago. So that's my journey so far. I am a muscle sclerosis sufferer, but day to day I am perfectly well. I feel good to myself. I regularly exercise. I have two children that keep me really busy. My little boy is 18 months now, so if you've been following these vlogs for a, a while and you have followed my journey, he's 18 months. He's no longer a baby. Uh, he is more... We are in toddler stage. I mean, I currently have SpongeBob SquarePants on the TV and he's just started to get into TV. I know they say screen time is not good, but when you're a busy mummy and you have to do things, he's plonked in his high chair, eating his lunch, watching a little bit of screen time. And that's just fine by me because it keeps him busy. So um, I just wanted to do a vlog because I'm due for year two, round two of my second uh, lots of infusion for Lemtrada. It's a two year course. Now, in this time, I had year one done last February, 12 months later is next week coming up. And I started this in England. We have transitioned and moved to California in this time. So I am very lucky that I have, it's been a very hard process and it's been tough, but I have been granted to have Lemtrada done here in California. They know a lot about the drug here. There's a, lot, a couple more, re, you know, more years research really. I mean, they've been administering the drug for eight years in the USA and only two years in the UK. So I would be quite a novel patient having it in my second year in the UK. I'm still slightly guinea pig stage, I would say. Whereas here, they really do know what they're doing because they've been doing it for eight years. It's usually a two-year course. Now, recently of late, I found out that some people are going in for a course three, a third-year infusion of Lemtrada. So um, I'm hoping that I will only have two years of it. And it does seem, I personally think, the effects that I've seen so far, I do have energy, as I touched upon earlier. I exercise a lot. Um, I don't, I haven't had a relapse in the last 12 months, it's the most important thing to say. I've had an MRI scan done. Um, it does show past lesions, but no active lesions, which was the best news. So I think it's doing its trick. I also think moving to California and vitamin D and sunshine has a lot to do with my wellness and my health and my well-being. I just want to do a vlog because, just to say how I'm feeling, these, these vlogs are meant to be from the heart and they're meant to be natural and progressive and you see me on my down days and my happy days and I've had some lovely feedback people saying that I'm really positive about it all. I try and be and I honestly, honestly believe in mind over matter, staying positive and um, I, the power of your own mind is incredible. I also believe in the nutrients, the vegetables and minerals, plant matter, vitamin D, everything that also goes inside the body. Um, so I try and stay as fit and healthy as possible but mind over matter and I'm just feeling... It's really weird. I'm feeling excited and scared all at the same time. So I feel excited because I know my year one infusion, it lasted five days, Monday to Friday. I expected the side effects, I got them, which was hives, itchy rash, uncomfortable. Can't sleep at night because they have to pump you with steroids as well as a Lemtrada drug because they have to counteract the fact that you might get your side effects. Um, so I was having the highs and lows in the steroids. I was also awake all through the night, a lot of the last five days of my infusion last year. So there was a lot going on, but I knew it was for the better, hoping it was for the better, hoping my results would be good. And I've had a really good 12 months. So that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to have my round two. And they're basically burning off and killing off the white blood cells that I've regrown to reboot this, to reboot my computer inside my body, um, to really regrow back some decent, good white blood cells. So that's why they're doing it, but they kind of road test it and then test it again to double check. That's me saying it in layman's terms. Um, 
So I'm feeling excited knowing I've had a good year and it needs to be done again. I'm nervous, not gonna lie, I am nervous. And you think, what if I don't have another good 12 months? What if I do relapse? There's a lot of side effects from Lentrada. One of the biggest <clears throat> side effects, and so it's, biggest, <laughs> it's not really the side effects, it sounds ridiculous saying this out loud. If you go on the lemtrada.org website, the first thing under things to be aware of and how powerful drug is, the first thing is um, this can be fatal. That's really scary to read, extremely frightening to read, and you can't help but constantly think about this in the back of your mind all the time. But they have to list every single possible side effect. Of course they do. Now, other side effects are you can develop a thyroid problem, either overactive or underactive. It's 30% chance of that. You can develop precancerous cells. You've got to be very careful, especially with us moving out to California. I can't go back out in immediate hot sunshine straight after having Lemtrada done. There is the recovery process of Lemtrada. There's the process of going through Lemtrada. So it's only a three-day infusion this year, and it's five days in your year one last year. So three days, I'm thinking, that's great. It's only three days. I've done it for five days already last year. I know what to expect. So that I'm feeling comfortable with. You still feel nervous. Well, I do. And I don't know if anyone else is going through Lone Child is watching these videos and these vlogs, but I still feel nervous. So if I'm slightly scared, what if, I think it's the what if. What if I do develop a side effect? What if, yeah, what if I get a thyroid issue? That is treatable. That I could probably live with. Or what if I get a kidney failure from it? Um, you also can, some people have thrown up and been violently sick on it. I actually got a terrible sickness bug on the fifth day of my five day infusion last year. So that was terribly unfortunate. Um, and I came down with a norovirus with no immune system to fight it off. So that was pretty bad. So I'm a little bit, I remember that of course from last year. So that nerves me. So now I'm thinking I really do need to wrap myself up in cotton wool a bit more afterwards. I don't want to get any bugs. Will I have to walk around with a mask on? There's a lot of questions. So even though I've already been through it, that is one of the reasons I'm happy and excited. I've been through it, I know what to expect. I'm gonna be ready with that itchy cream. E45 or monkey butt, two creams that were recommended to me and I used E45 in the UK last year. Uh, and a friend here in California has monkey butt cream, so I'm gonna ask her if I can borrow some of that for this year, because I've heard that's good. So I know what to expect, I can prepare myself. I'm taking time off work. The children are sorted. We've got incredible friends here in California. We're gonna rotate it. All of my friends are running around and offering to cook dinners for the husband as well, bless him. So, because we have to carry on running our business. We can't just take time off work. It's not that easy because it's our own company. So and we run it here. So it's our own company. We're going to be down to just James because I know that my best recovery process will be sleeping. Sleep it, sleep it, sleep it off. Drink lots of fluids and water and pee it out. That's what you're doing. You're killing off your white blood cells. How else are they going to leave your body? You've got to wear them out. So I need to drink a lot, a lot of fluid. Also stops the headaches as much. So when you're in there for three days in the infusion clinic or centre, whatever they call it here, um, you know, I've got to drink lots of fluids because I am aware that the, the crazy headaches can get really, really intense. I didn't get them last year. I got the rash, got a sickness bug, which is unfortunate. I have heard that you get stomach cramping as well. I think I did get cramps last year. It's quite easy how quickly you do forget certain things when you've been through a lot already. So yeah, I just wanted to say how I was feeling, give you an update, you might have been following me already, or the little introduction at the beginning was if you haven't been following me, and just to give you an update on who I am and what I'm doing. But excited and nervous, I'm going to do a load of vlogs next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days, round two of Lem Chada. So wish me luck, I'm excited and nervous at the same time as I've said a million times, and I just wanted to let you guys know what stage I'm at and, um, and it's, I still really enjoy hearing from you so I slowly try and reply to everybody's comments in between um, the children and the chaos of family life but um, take care, if anyone's just been diagnosed please look up the drug Lemtrada because it's my current remedy and recovery process of muscle sclerosis. Take care and I'll speak to you next week, see you on the other side.